Hey everybody, I had so much fun doing my last video on Chiaroscuro that I decided to make another one and I got so distracted by the work that I was doing that I forgot to start recording my video so I got a little far along but I'm working on a video of my cat Lapis, the fanciest cat in town and I decided blue paper would be an excellent choice because of his fancy blue eyes, hence why we call him Lapis. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just filling in a large area. I started the drawing with just his eye because I wasn't expecting to actually do the whole face, but then I just got really invested in it and went from there. Um, so my process of working was definitely a little bit different from how I normally do it. I uh, would normally sketch out the entire thing first instead of just the eye. So working with the proportions is a little more challenging than I have done in the past just because I started with just one section instead of drawing the whole thing first. Uh, but I broke out a bigger brush to kind of fill in some larger areas with the white to kind of give me a base value to work with and just kind of working that into the texture of the paper as I'm going along. Um, then I'm going to go in with the black as you see here. I'm just kind of filling in areas where his face is just a little more gray or where we see more shadows. And basically the entire process of building up this fur texture is just a never ending back and forth of white, then black, then blend, then white, then black, then blend. Uh, that's actually really hard to say. I don't know. Um, so I'm just slowly building up those values. I'm working with a harder black charcoal on the fur so it's not as dark it's not as soft so it doesn't blend as much it kind of sits where it's at in the eyes i started getting to like a 6b to get it really dark and black um, but yeah just this is where we're working here so slowly building up these values as we go along and smoothing them I find that once I smooth them just a little bit, then it really gives it that nice fur-like texture once you've built up enough layers. As we start building up these values, we start to see how fancy this cat is. Uh, I like to call Lapis Fancy Feast. He's not a big fan. I also call him Prancy Beast. He's very good at prancing. He also does not like that nickname either. <laughs> so one thing that I am noticing as I am building up my layers of fur is I'm finding that after this kind of, I don't even know if this is my second or third pass here, but um, once I start kind of layering those shorter marks um, with the white and the black, I'm starting to get more of the texture that I'm looking for in the fur. So basically I just need to keep going back and forth and back and forth um, to build up that texture as I go. And the more I kind of layer it around, the more it starts to become more lifelike as I'm building it up. Oh, looks like we're back at it with the textures for, I don't know, around three or four now. So we're just going to keep doing it back and forth ad nauseum. I'm still making sure that I am following sort of the directional pattern of the hair. Um, I think that's really important in this instance because that's what's going to create the volume on the face as we go. It's easy to get lost in it for sure. But I just can't wait to do the whiskers. 
I'm getting impatient, but I know I need to wait for it. So my marks are getting a lot longer at this point to kind of mimic the length of the fur on the sides of the cheeks. That's a quite a bit longer there than it is at the front of the face. I'm starting to build up some more confident longer strokes up by the ears um, and I feel like these are probably not going to get blended in with the brush. These are going to stay sort of as those long wispy hairs more um, defined than other areas. So I feel like I'm at the point now where I'm kind of adding in some of the finishing touches. I'm getting, you know, more of those textural marks and details and leaving them there without um, smoothing them out as much with the brush. And doing that is going to kind of help provide the um, detail and texture that I want to see in the finished product. So it's finally whisker time. I gotta find the perfect point here on my charcoal. Lapis has some very hairy ears. I actually have to like stand up to angle myself here so I can get my hand to move in the right direction for these whiskers. The problem not being able to turn my paper sideways to work when I'm recording. Well, everybody, I've added a million layers, gone back and forth with the brushes and the pencils, a whole bunch, and I feel like I'm at a pretty good stopping point. I probably could keep going for like hours more if I wanted to, but I don't know if anyone really wants to sit and watch that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, look at that fancy boy. Isn't he so precious? Thanks for watching and keep creating. <laughs>